Hi, I'm Craig Cameron. And if you've been watching our last two shows, it's been exciting. We're trying to pick out the perfect horse. We're choosing from four different horses, Izzy, T-Bird, Murphy, and Cowboy. Each one of them's got some good, each one of them's got some bad, and it's all about picking out that perfect horse. Last time, we rode Izzy and T-Bird. This time, we're gonna ride Murphy and Cowboy. Hey, we gotta make that tough decision. Hope you're gonna help me make it. And that's all coming up next on Ride Smart. All right, I got Big Murphy here. And remember, this horse evaluated pretty good in the confirmation. He's the oldest of all the horses. We're gonna see how he rides, but let's warm him up first with this saddle. Remember, we just got out here, threw the saddle on, no warming up this time. You know, there's a lot of things you wanna check out. You know, when you're buying the horse, I like to lead these horses. I, watch, I like to watch them stand tied. You might even want to trailer load. All different things in your evaluation, but the most important part, is he gonna be safe? Is he broke and is he good to ride so let's warm him up see how he takes this saddle all right we'll start right now and give him a chance to move forward all right come on murphy <laughs> look that's pretty good he's not too troubled about that flag which i kind of like that you know which shows me he's pretty gentle and obviously he's got a great look and he's got some color as well this time i'm gonna go ahead and bump him and ask him to go forward all right Let's have him move forward. And you know what? So far, you notice this horse here didn't, didn't canter off. He just trotted off. You know, he's, he's kind of checking things out and he's got, his trot looks pretty good. He's moving along pretty soft, not real bothered or troubled or uptight or, or apprehensive or anything like that. Let's slowly push him to a little canter. Picks up the correct lead and that still say, stays very, very soft. Again, his head is starting to come down. He has a good look to him, and whoa. When he does turn away from me, but he's also kind of wanting to look at me as well. So if I'll see if I can get over here and, and drive him to the other side, if I could get this flag on this side, I'd just like to see if he just turn to the inside. And, and he does respond, gets a little nervous about that, but I don't know how much flag work has been done on this horse, but he's tolerating it pretty nicely. Picks up real soft, right lead, really moving nice. Looks good to me. And whoa. <whistles> Come on, Murph. Come on over here. Come on. Let me push him up there. Push him up there. <whistles> See if I can't get him to kind of want to come over here. There. That's a pretty good look. And I'm going to ease over here and catch old Murphy up. You know, there's nothing nicer than to ride a good trail horse that's, that's just a pleasure to ride. Now, his trot, a little bit bouncy. Not terrible, but he's moving pretty, and I'm just doing some little bumps here to check him out. Let's guide him to the left, like this, and let's guide him to the right, like that. And he's doing pretty good. He's handling pretty nice. Let's try a neck rein on this horse. All right, I'm going to get over here, see if I can neck rein him across the pen. Not too bad. See if I can neck rein him back the other way. Not too bad. Here. Good. Let's push to that canter. And I like it because he's relaxed and he's getting soft. Let's see if we can pick up that correct lead. See how little it takes to canter him off. Good. And he does a nice job. And I'm kind of pushing him deep sand in here. And he's just moving really good. And you know what? He's got a good feel to him. Let's check out his stop. Whoa. Boom. Big old loose rein stop right up underneath me. Now I'm gonna turn him, go the other way. Check him this way and just move him off. Let's see if we can just push him right into that canter. Boy, he picks that up like a champion. Goes right into the correct lead here. Horse moving around pretty nice. Not scared of that. Good. I'm gonna touch him on his hind quarters. Make sure he's okay there and find that, whoa, find that stop. Nice job. Let's turn him in the fence a couple times. Here, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get a stop and a turn. It's like that, good. Go on and get a stop here, and let's see if we can turn him here. Well, that's pretty good. Get a stop, whoa, and turn him here. I wanna do that one more time here, and just turn him here, and just turn him here, and I'm gonna just bring him to the middle, and whoa, right there. This horse feels good. Boy, what a nice backup. Boy, this is a pretty nice little old pony here. See, I'm watching that, but that's not bad. Let's do my feet. Check him out here, 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 here. <laughs> pretty good stuff. Making a kind of a kind of a nice little old gill and guy wanting just a good ranch horse, riding horse, trail horse. Hey, you guys are supposed to be evaluating these horses too. So far, which one are you picking? Let's step up on the right. Make sure he sees me in that right eye. Toe of the boot, step down. Hey, I'd say old Murphy is beginning to be a bit of a romance here. It's pretty good stuff. He's coming to the top, but hey, which one do you like? I gotta make my decision too. And now back to Ride Smart with Craig Cameron. Well, we're down to it. We gotta make a decision. Have you made your decision yet? Hey, the first horse I'm gonna eliminate I think I'll eliminate Cowboy. The reason I'm gonna eliminate Cowboy, I feel like he has the least training. He might be a good horse down the trail, but you know, he graded out, you know, maybe a little lower in the confirmation and certainly didn't handle as well, but hey, down the trail, he might be the perfect horse for somebody, but Cowboy's gonna be the first one to go. Hey, next horse. We got three left now. The next horse I'm gonna eliminate was a horse I felt like had maybe the very best confirmation in here, and that was T-Bird. I mean, look at this horse. What a nice looking horse he is. But to me, we're picking a horse for somebody who's a good ranch horse, using horse, trail horse. Right now, this one was a little bit fresher, a little less training, a little less responsive, a little more on guard. And later on down the trail, old T-Bird might be the very best one on him, but now he needs a lot more training. Well, we're down to two horses. Obviously, we got Izzy and we got Murphy left. Well, which decision did you make? You know, this can get a little tough, but we got to make that decision. And as I walk over here, I feel like the horse that I'm going to choose is going to be Murphy. You know, I really did like Murphy all the way through. I thought he did just about everything that I wanted him to do. I thought he was going to make a good, solid horse for me as I take him out on the trail and involve him in my life and in my horsemanship. Boy, I, I felt like he was just rock solid the whole way. He was good on the confirmation. He's got good color. He's got a good look. He handled good. He stood like a statue. Boy, picked up those leaves, rode soft, never was spooky or scary. Hey, he's the kind of horse I think is going to work just right for me. You know, I learned a whole lot going through these processes. I hope you learned a lot during the show, too, because we certainly threw a lot of information your way, and I hope it's going to help you when you go to pick out your perfect horse. Thanks for joining us. Hey, and we'll see you next time on Ride Smart.